This is an FFG Top 10. I'm Paul Burry. And I'm Ting Gamer. This FFG Top 10 is going to be about the top 10 worst Wii U games. Uh, remember we said in the best we're going to have a worst, so in the worst, we've done the worst and the best with the Wii U being essentially dead in the grave. Uh, with the Switch release, of course I know you believe that yeah. it's been dead since the beginning just about. I mean, mine are worse Splatoon. Let's just... <laughs> Oh, worse than local <laughs> multiplayer. I, I should do make a disclaimer. Fanboys of certain franchises are probably going to not like this list. So just relax. Chill. It's our list, our opinion, our ideas. So just, you know. You can post a comment it's, below. It's just Splatoon. It's just, it's Splatoon, just, yeah. Just, I mean, it. unless you want to sit there and play all, online all the time, it's... The, the only upside with Splatoon 1 is they didn't charge for the service. Yeah, Splatoon 2 is going to be worse on the Switch. Yeah. Because when it comes out, I think that's when their trial with whatever their program ends. Yeah. So in order to even test <coughs> most of the modes, we'd have to pay yeah. Nintendo so much money. Yeah, it, it, local multiplayer is horrible. Single player was so short. I mean, the game should have been like $10 at most. And then, you know, oh, you're getting Amiibos, and you don't get a whole lot for that. But You get some extra armor. Speaking of Amiibos, my number 10 is Animal Crossing Amiibo Festival. It was at your... And that's my number two. Okay, you're number two, so so you'll, we'll get to that one later. Um, for you, you had to have Amiibos to play it. And people are like, well, yeah, if you buy it, it came with two Amiibos. Not helpful for a family of four. And not helpful if you decided to rent the game, which was yeah. what we did initially. So we had to go buy some Animal Crossing Amiibos, which, of course, only worked with like three, four, maybe five games. To me, I mean, it was an okay party board, Mario Party kind of game. Okay, at best, but then having to sit there and go buy Amiibos after buying the game to me was just annoying. It's, so. It gets really expensive mm -hmm. with the new Amiibos being like 15, 16 bucks. Uh, my number nine is uh, Batman Arkham Origins. Mm -hmm. I believe that's somewhere on yours. It was probably by far the it's worst Batman. Number eight, we'll get in there. Yeah. Um, remember, we're family friendly gaming, so we're not like go bash people in the face gaming or. You know, worldly gaming, or you know, rebelling against God gaming. You know, IGN, what? Yeah, we're family friendly, and we, we, you know, it. I don't know. I've had trouble with the Batman Arkham series for a long time because to me, it's so boring to have to go and fight these guys. You no, know, you can stealth sometimes, or stealth kill, or. And I'm sorry, these these enemies are like, why are they ten times stronger than Batman? He's supposed to be so much stronger. It doesn't make any sense. Because they have guns, and apparently his bulletproof suit can't withstand a bullet. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and Superman has to duck under the gun, because the gun might hurt him. Yeah. My number nine is Toss and Go. Now, some of you are like, Toss and Go? Okay. So there's this, like, really teeny tiny microscopic one-man studio called RC Maddiox. All right? They have made probably the most highest frequency worst games on the Wii U. The guy's trying but not very hard and not making much effort. And Nintendo's like supporting this kind of waste of space. I mean, toss and go, you are rolling dice and you're trying to get the dice to hit certain numbers. I could do that in the real world, but I would never want to unless I'm playing Risk. So I'm just gonna end my rant there. Number eight. Spiky Walls, the Flappy Bird wannabe. <laughs> that was uh, one of the first we're all ND downloadables we got on the Wii U, and it, it's the most hated. <laughs> yeah. My number eight is Batman Arkham Origins. We already discussed it, so... Number seven, the letter. Some PS2 looking <laughs> horror game. <laughs> wait, wait. And there was, like, no point. It's like, what am I doing? I'm walking around reading messages. I know. There, you're walking around these buildings in the dark. I mean, might as well just... To, told us. I mean, there's no jump scare, no anything. It was just about as bad as Dear Esther. But unfortunately, they didn't have a Wii release so I couldn't put that one on here. Yeah, yeah. My number seven, uh, Rune Factory Tides of Destiny. I think that was... That is my number six. Number six, your number six. I think, wasn't that the first one where they decided to uh, uh, attack, attack biblical yeah, marriage so. and, and try to, you know, join in rebellion against God, be Sodom and Gomorrah? I, I don't know why, but that's what they wanted to do, so... I guess we should go to my number six because that's your number six. Yeah. Do you have any comments on that one? Not just. It, it was bad. It, bad, 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 bad. You want to do the who? No. The who was no, bad. No. Okay. Uh, number six is Pure Solar and the Great Architects. That Sounds one. Small. But it it was a it was an indie RPG. It actually been a Genesis RPG that they had ported over to the Wii U digital download. 
Um, it looked interesting. It looked like kind of like a 16-bit old school RPG. But it had so much bad content. I'm like, why? My number five is Rodeo the Sky Soldier. Mm hmm. I don't even remember that one too well, but I know oh, it I was do. terrible. Um, it had horrible controls. You would like, would. You could like fly, but you had to jump between islands and you're floating. And remember, you'd have to like oh, link to things. Man. And it, it, it gave you a headache. You got a migraine oh, train. Right. I think I know what you're talking about. Yeah. My number five is Xavier. Here's another indie game that is in the Hall of Shame. Let's just. Let's just I mean, they, they couldn't even they couldn't even come up with a good name. They, I wonder if the guy's name was Xavier, and he's like, I need a game named after me. I mean, and, and the thing is, I have seen 8-bit NES games that animated better. I mean, that's just, anyway, moving on, please. Paper Mario Color Splash. Oh, yeah. Uh, I think you forgot to do your, no, you did your five. Yeah, Paper Mario Color Splash, that was by far the worst Paper Mario we've got. Sticker Star was almost bearable. Yeah. And then Color Splash, it's not. It was I mean, they just, they added... It, just took forever to do a battle, and it was just, it was horrible. And getting all the mm -hmm. colors, and oh, ugh. My number four, number four is going to probably make some fanboys unhappy, but it's Injustice, God's Among Us. That's my number three. That's your number three? Yep, we're like one off. Most one of off, us. yeah. Uh, my number three then is, uh, I guess, do we even talk about Injustice? The violent fighting game that probably violent should have been him. Game. Yeah, and then the name. Yeah, they, they were trying to promote those. Uh, fantasy comic book heroes as false gods. I mean, it was like a... My number three is Fast and Furious Showdown. Um, it's a racing game that's horrible. It controls bad. It, it's... It's a crashing simulator. Don't get ahead of yourself. It, it, it's a miserable game to play. If you've ever played it, you know what I'm talking about. If you haven't, just stay away. Just, just trust me. Don't waste your money on that. Number two? My number two is the Animal Crossing Mubo Festival. Talked about that one in the beginning. Mm hmm. Yes, we did. My number two, which I know it looks like it's your number, number one, one Suspension Railroad Simulator. Oh, where, where do we, we start? start? Let's talk about the fighting. They're all, oh, they're yeah. all, in, a, they're all in a group. Wait, wait. Let's, let's play after. You ready? So, this is what we see. That is exactly how that worked. That was the lag in the game. N no, not only the lag, but then let's figure out. Then you had to the, report it. Yeah, you didn't even. Know, we couldn't figure out how to report it, and then we couldn't figure out how to like at the, at the beginning to get out of the little intro area. It, it took me hours and looking up facts to figure out how to get out of the intro area, and then how to actually make the suspension railroad, you know, train train thing. move. It like wouldn't even move. You're just like. Oh, and then there's speed limits apparently on trains. Yes. I, I was not informed of this. Oh, and you got in trouble. Like, cause I, one time I was trying to figure out the controls, I went backwards. I, and then I was like, oh, okay, cool, cool. Now I figured it out. I went forwards. Then I got fined for not stopping at the stop that I started at because I had gone back out of it and went past it. It was like, what? I, I don't even know. I mean, words cannot explain. You, if, if you don't believe me, look it up on the internet, do a search, and you'll sit there and, and find all kinds of very, you know, one, one score reviews, zero score reviews. I mean, it's a horrible game. It's just that. Find a video. We should have done a video. We should have, yeah. We, we'd have to re download it now. But it's anyway. not like it's a very big download. I mean. Yeah. So then I guess. All we have left now is my number one, because your number one is Suspension yeah. Railroad. Okay, so my number one was the letter. We talked about the letter. Um, yeah, Suspension Railroad Simulator was horrible, but to me the letter was just a little bit worse, because at least Suspension Railroad Simulator... Had some gameplay? Had some gameplay. You could actually play it and look around and, and you know, go yeah. right through, phase right through the people and went on the train, and you could watch stuff. It was it was at least semi-interesting and you bright could watch, enough you could, could see. Um, you could check the train and notice there's no driver. I mean, I knew that really bothered me. Yeah, yeah. Well, and the thing is, my number two and my number one, they are, like, so close. It's like, flip a coin. Maybe RC, RC Maddox will make a game about flipping a coin. We won't review it or play it, but, you know. Hey, they're, they're, we'll give them an idea. That they'll be their next, their next game is to flip a coin. Because that seems about the coin creativity flipping, they have. Coin flipping simulator. Yeah. That's all the thoughts I have. You got any more? No, I just want to thank everyone for watching. I say, hope you have a wonderful day.